Hey guys, welcome back to another cooking video with your one and only Claudie Cooks in the kitchen. Today we are going to cook some chili con carne so we can sit on the sofa and watch footy and share this delicious dish with our friends and families. Let's dive in to see what we've got here. Look at all of those glorious ingredients. What are we waiting for, people? Let's get cooking. Okay, I've got the heat on and the pan here, nice and warm. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. To the pan I've added two chopped onions and I'm going to let those saute off for about three to five minutes. And once they're done, I will come back to add other ingredients throughout the process of cooking this chili con carne. So I'll see you then. Okay, the onions are done. And now we're going to add the beef to the pan. Right, I'm using a kilo of minced beef, and that's 12% fat. I'm just going to let that fry without breaking it up and then once it's fried then I'll be able to flip it over and brown the other side again and then I'll be able to mix all the onions into the meat once it's done and add the rest of the ingredients. I just want to show you this because the meat will spring a lot of liquid from it but that's okay right because eventually we will keep on frying it until it reduces all of the liquid so don't be alarmed by that let's just flip that over i just let it brown for about five minutes just to seal in a lot of the juice and that helps to create a lot of flavors okay, so now i can start to break it up once that's broken down, I'm going to add some bell peppers and some other ingredients. Okay, you can see that all the red has gone from the meat, so we're gonna add some mixed bell peppers. You can use one or all colors if you like. I just love to see different colors in food. It makes it more interesting and appealing to the eyes. I'm just going to let that cook up for about a minute or two before we get adding the rest of the stuff. Time for the garlic. I'm using four cloves of garlic. You can use however many you want. And I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes in here as well. That's going to give an extra layer of flavours to this dish but of course it is optional. And to that, instead of using tomato puree, I'll be using the Korean version of chili paste and it's called gojujang. Right, I'm adding a tablespoon. And I'm going to cook that up for a minute or two, just to get all those flavors mingling into the minced meat. That's what we needed, some delicious tasting chili con carne. See you in a minute. Look how beautiful that's looking. Time to add fortified and rich. I'm using rich beef stock. You can use wine, you can use beer, whatever it is that you want to use as the liquid. Go ahead and feel free to do that. I'm keeping it alcohol free. Right, and I'm just gonna let that do a little bubble, bubble, bubble for a minute or two before I add the tin tomatoes and the passata and some seasoning. Time to add the tin tomatoes. I'm using two tins of tomatoes. And these are crushed. I'm also going to add a bit of Sauté to that as well. I'm gonna give that a little mix, 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 mix. It's time to add the red kidney beans, and I'm also using a tin of black beans as well. 
and I've rinsed those. Right, we're going to give that a stir, combine all of the ingredients and flavors together. And with the passata, I used half of the jar of a 690 gram in weight. So half of the bottle and two tins of crushed tomatoes. And now we are going to add some flavors. We have got onion and garlic granules. We have got some Mexican style seasoning here. We've got paprika, salt, black pepper, cinnamon, and ginger, and some cumin. So we're going to pour all of these on. And I've also got some thyme and some oregano in here. So I'm gonna pop those in. And instead of sugar, I'm using some maple syrup. I've got two tablespoons in there. And we're gonna give a good dash of Lee Perrin Worcester sauce. Followed by some liquid smoke, but that's completely optional. Just maybe a teaspoon. And we're going to add some chipotle paste. I'm using a teaspoon. We're going to give that a good mix now because we are going to cover it and we're going to cook this for about an hour and a half. This is about a really quick chili con carne. We need the flavors to develop, you know, to give us a really flavorsome chili. So if you're in a rush, this one won't be <laughs> for you. But at the same time, instead of cooking it for an hour and a half, you probably can give it half an hour, 40 minutes, if that works best for you. I'm using some foil to seal in the flavor here because we're cooking slowly and we don't want all those flavors to be escaping. I'm going to turn the fire down to very low and we're going to let that cook slowly for an hour and a half. But don't forget to occasionally stir it and check on it, but we need to let it cook slowly. So I'll see you back in one and a half hours time from now. Okay, this is an hour and a half. So let's give this a stir. This is how it's looking after an hour and a half. It's quite thick and it's not watery. So this is what we're looking for. But we're gonna do some tasting now, just to see where we are with seasoning. Here we go. Oh, wow, that tastes amazing. Hmm, but I'm going to add some chili. This is chipotle chilies, and I rehydrated them for 20 minutes. And I'm just gonna add that one into it to give it a bit more of a kick. And this is the one, I look, it's got some earthy tone of dark chocolate and smoky tones to that. So hence why I'm adding it to my chili. And I'm gonna give that a little bit of stir. And I'm going to add, this is 90% dark chocolate. So I'm just going to add that to my chili. And another splash of Worcester sauce some all-purpose seasoning, garlic granules to elevate the flavors now because don't forget it's been cooking for quite some time. So we want to lift those flavors all up again. We're just going to add a tad of soya sauce. We're going to mix this all up. Mm -mm -mm. This smells so good. We're just going to add a small pinch of Mexican style seasoning. You can use taco if you want. That's it. Wow. This is going to taste amazing. Let's give that a little taste again. My spoon is clean. I've washed it. Oh, 
Mm, mm, mm. Yes, that's what we are talking about. And that kick from that chili is amazing. I love it. I hope you will make this chili because it's absolutely delicious. I'm just going to cover that. Huh? And I'm going to give that another 10 minutes, cover it and just let it do its thing. A little bobber here and a little bobber there. And then I'll be back. Wow, time to switch the fire off. And I'm going to cover that. And I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes for it to settle and cool down a bit before I serve up. Just take a good look at that. Wow, I think this looks amazing. Look at this chili. Honestly, it tastes amazing. Right, so we're just going to cover that. We're going to let that sit for about 20 minutes. Time to plate up. And there you have it guys, my delicious chili con carne, how yummy does that look, look at it, look at that, mm. enjoy people.